Two-look OLL is the technique of correctly orienting all of your last layer pieces in two steps, or looks. The first step is to orient all of your edge pieces using an algorithm, and the second step is to orient all of your corner pieces using a second algorithm. Because you're using two algorithms instead of one, it's slower than full OLL, but Tulik OLL cuts down the number of algorithms that you have to learn from 57 to just 10, making it great for beginners. Leave a comment down below telling me what you average on 3x3, and once you do that, we can get started. So like I mentioned, the first step of Tulik OLL is to orient all of your edges. And doing this takes up three of the 10 algorithms you'll have to learn in Tulik OLL. There are four possible situations you could have for your edges, and for this we're going to ignore the corners altogether. You can either have just a dot, so none of your four edges are oriented. You can have this L shape, where you have two edges oriented that are next to each other. You can have a line, where you have two edges oriented that are across from each other. And last but not least, you can have your full cross already, which is basically a skip of this first step. And in a case like this, you'd only have to do one algorithm, even with Tulik OLL. So I'm actually going to start by showing you how to deal with the line case, and you'll see why in a minute. So when you get a line case, you want to make the line go horizontally across the cube like this, and then you can do this algorithm to orient all of your edges. F R U R prime U prime F prime. Basically this algorithm is you start with an F, then you do sexy move, which is R U R prime U prime, and then you do an F prime. And that will take you from a line case to having all of your edges oriented. Next we have the L case, and there are two different good algorithms for this. You could just learn one or the other, but learning both isn't a bad idea either. So first, when you have the L, you can put it in the back left like this, and then do this algorithm. F, U, R, U prime, R prime, F prime. So that's F, and then inverse of sexy move, and then an F prime at the end. And the other way of dealing with your L case is by putting it in the front right like this, and then doing this algorithm. Wide F, R, U, R prime, U prime, wide F prime. Now if you're observant, you will notice that this is the exact same as the algorithm I showed for the line case, except instead of doing just an F move, you'll do a wide F move, and then end with a wide F prime. So that's a little bit easier to memorize, but the other one's still easy as well and both of them are about the same speed. And last but not least, we have the dot case, and the reason I saved this for last is because this algorithm is actually just a combination of the ones I've already shown. So for this, you can hold it from any angle because it's symmetrical in terms of your edges, and then you do this. You do F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime wide F, R, U, R prime, U prime, wide F prime. So again, this is just combining the two algorithms that I've shown you, or you can remember it as F, sexy move, F prime, wide F, sexy move, F prime. And that will take you from a dot case to having your cross solved. So now that you know how to orient your edges, you're on to the orienting of your corners, the second step of Tulik OLL. And this has seven cases, which means seven more algorithms to learn. Let's go through them in order. So here is the first case that I'm going to show you, and this one is called Soon. You can recognize Soon because you only have one corner oriented, and when you put this oriented corner in the front left like this, you will have a yellow sticker right here on the front of this corner. When you have those things, you have soon, and then you can do this algorithm. R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. So if I were trying to remember this by what's happening, I would notice that the R, U, R prime takes out this pair, 
U moves it over, and then you do R, U2, R prime to insert it again. So just one more time, you have one oriented corner, and when it's in the front left, you have a yellow sticker right here on the front of this corner, and then you do R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. Now this case is called anti soon. It looks a lot like soon because it has one oriented corner. But in this case, you'll notice that if we put the oriented corner in the front left, we don't have that yellow sticker here. It's actually on this side right here, which is how we know it's anti soon. So when we have anti soon, we can put this oriented corner in the back right like this and then do this algorithm. R, U2, R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R prime. So again, this is basically the reverse of soon in terms of the algorithm. So you'll notice once again, we have one oriented corner. We don't have that one sticker that we talked about for soon. So what we do is we put the oriented corner in the back right. And then how I'd remember this is that you're taking out the pair doing a U2 this time, and then moving it over and inserting it. There is another algorithm for anti-soon that some people like better, and people call this one back soon. For this one, you will put your oriented corner in the back left, and then the algorithm is R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R prime, U2, R. So basically what you're doing is putting your oriented corner in the top left and then doing soon from the back, which some people think is better. I think they're about the same. I actually use both algs depending on the situation. And as you get faster, that's probably what you're going to end up doing, but it's okay if you choose a favorite now and stick to that for a little while. Okay, next we have this case, which is called T. For this case, we have two oriented corners that are next to each other like this. And then we notice these two other corners, they're facing out away from each other, or at least the yellow stickers are facing away from each other like this. And so that's how we tell that we have T. There is another case with two oriented corners, but the other corners will have yellow pointing right here, which is how you tell them apart. So for T, what you want to do is hold your two oriented corners on the right side and then do this algorithm. Wide R, U, R prime, U prime, wide R prime, F, R, F prime. So what you're basically doing for this algorithm is once again, you're putting your oriented stickers on the right side like this then you're doing a sexy move, except starting with a wide R, and then you're doing a sledgehammer, except starting with a wide R prime. And that's how I remember what the T algorithm is. Okay, next up we have the U case, which is the one I was just mentioning. It has two oriented corners next to each other, just like the T case, except instead of having your yellow stickers facing away from each other, this one facing up and this one facing down, you have them facing in the same direction, which in most circumstances is called headlights. So for this, you're going to want to put your oriented corners in the back, and then your headlights are facing you, and then you will do this algorithm. R2, D, R prime, U2, R, D prime, R prime, U2, R prime. So just once more, you put your oriented corners in the back, so then your headlights are facing towards you. And the way that I'd remember this is that you start off with R2D, and then your next moves are basically taking out this pair and moving it over twice, like that. Then your D prime is putting the D layer back into place, and then you do R prime, U2, R prime to insert that pair once more. Okay, next we have this case, which is called the L case. So the L case is the only case where you have two oriented corners that are diagonal from each other, like this. And when you have this, what you wanna do is line it up 
so that you have your oriented corners in the front left and back right, and then you have this sticker pointing towards you right here. If you do a U2 from this angle, you'll still have your oriented corners in the right position, but you won't have this sticker, and then the algorithm won't work from this angle. So it's very important that you're careful and you have this angle with the sticker pointing towards you here. So for this one, you're going to want to do F prime, wide R, U, R prime, U prime, wide R prime, F, R. So the way that I remember this one is that you do an F prime to start off, then you do sexy move, except you start with a wide R move instead, and then you end off just by doing wide R prime F R. That one's a little bit harder to remember in that way, but you can sort of see what all the pieces are doing and where they're going, which makes it easier to remember what it is. And there is one other decent algorithm for the L case that you can use instead if you like it better. For this one, you're going to hold it so that your oriented corners are in the front right and back left, and then you have a sticker facing towards you in the front left like this. And for this one, you're going to want to do F, R prime, F prime, wide R, U, R, U prime, wide R prime. So you can remember this one, because once again, you have the oriented corners in the front right and back left, and your sticker pointing at you right here. And you start off with the inverse of a sledgehammer, except you end off with a wide R instead of a regular R. And then you can basically act like you're inserting this F2L pair, except on the last move, you're going to have to do a wide R prime to fix this layer. And that's how I remember that algorithm. So now we're on to our last two cases, and these are the ones where you have no oriented corners to start. This one is called the H case. And so for this one, of course you have no oriented corners, and then here you can see we have headlights, and then on the opposite side, we also have headlights. It's important that you check for both of these sets of headlights in order to tell that it's the H case. So then you want to align it so that you have headlights facing towards you. It can be either set. That's the one cool thing about H is that it's symmetrical this way, so you can do it from this angle or this angle. And then you do this algorithm. R, U2, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R prime. So once again, you just want a set of headlights facing towards you, and then the way I remember it is that you're taking out this front pair with a U2, then you move it over, do sexy move, and then insert this pair, and that will do your OLL. There is one other algorithm that some people like for H, where instead of doing it with headlights facing towards you, you have the headlights on either side, and then you do this algorithm, which goes R, U, R prime, U, R, U prime, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. That's actually just the inverse of the first H algorithm, but if you want to learn this one, the way I remember it is that you take out this front pair to right here, then you do an inverse sexy move, move over the pair to right here, and then insert the F2L pair from there, and that will do your OLL. And here is the last case of the two look OLL algorithms, and this one is called the pie case. Now, once again, you have no oriented corners, and we have one set of headlights here, but here's why you need to be careful. Instead of having a second set of headlights like H did, you have two stickers facing away from each other, like we did for the T case. So you need to be really careful so you don't mistake this for an H case. But when you have this, what you want to do is hold it just like this, so you have your headlights on your left, and then you'll have one sticker facing towards you in the front right, and then that will be facing away from you. 
and your algorithm for this will be R U2 R2 U prime R2 U prime R2 U2 R. So here's how you remember this one. Once again, you hold your headlights on the left and then you take out this pair with R U2 and then instead of just doing R prime, you do an R2 to take out this pair as well. Move everything over, then you're going to reinsert that pair and then you're going to cancel into doing a U2 insert to reinsert that pair. And just as one final piece of advice for the Pi case specifically, this one has a lot of R2s and U2s, and R2s and U2s are the same whether you do them as a U2 or a U2 prime, for example, but this alg is easier if you do it in a specific way where you do all of your U2s as U2 primes with a double flick like this, and you alternate between doing R2 forward and R2 backward. So I'll show you that. R, U2 prime, then you're gonna do R2 down like that. U prime, R2 up, U prime, R2 down, U2 prime double flick, and then R. And that's how I execute the Pi case. So those are all the algorithms you need to know to always be able to solve OLL in only two algorithms. So I hope this was really helpful for you. If it was, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, share the video with your friends, leave a like, leave a comment. All that stuff helps me out so much. And then if you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments. I'll answer as many of them as I can. If you do want some extra one-on-one -on -one help from me, I do offer paid one-on-one -on -one 3x3 training sessions, and you can get more information by going to the website that I have linked in the description. So check out that if you want. I'll see you guys later, and I hope you have a wonderful day. This is Brody, signing out.